Hi, I'm John Fry and I'm here today with this thing, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera, which as you can see is pocket size. It really is tiny. It's only about, without the lens, it's about two and a half iPhones, um, which is pretty tiny, which is great as an exercise in, in miniaturization of technology and the pictures out of it are stunning. However, to hand hold the thing is pretty much impossible. I mean, anything you're likely to shoot on this handheld without a very stabilized lens, self-stabilized lens, is gonna be unusable for pretty much everything, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Um, so if you think this is gonna be your ideal run and gun camera with, a, with this thing, this is a 25 mm Lumix unstabilized lens, impossible without a tripod, it's, it's unusable. Another annoying thing, apart from its insubstantial weight and therefore, you know, which makes everything a bit more difficult anyway, is the, there's no audio levels on the thing. So even if you've plugged in your external uh, head, uh, mic source, um, so, you know, radio mic or whatever, you can't tell what levels is going in at. So you can't set your levels properly for voice and whatnot like we've done here. We've got levels on the, on the screen there. Even with the headphone out, you know, you can adjust the headphone out, so you might have that in adjusted incorrectly and then you'll end up under or over recording your sound. So that's really annoying. Another thing, which we've been trying for about half an hour just to download the footage off this, because you can't do it, it has its own USB terminal, but you can't use it to read the card that's in the camera. You can't plug that straight into the computer and, and read the card that way. You have to plug the camera, uh, the card into the computer, which in my last year's MacBook Pro won't read the files properly or won't read the card consistently well enough. Even it's a it's a pretty good, so expensive SD card, won't read it, won't actually get the files off the off the off the card. So you need a you'll have to get yourself a much better, very high speed, probably USB three or FireWire SD card reader just to get the files off the thing, which is especially annoying. But Having said that, all in all, you know, most decent lenses cost more than this entire camera. And for the picture quality you get out of it, which is stunning, there, there's, you know, it's, it's an incredible bargain um, if you own a decent tripod. 